The Empowerment Institute has awarded the Los Angeles Cool City Challenge team with a $1 million grant. Los Angeles is joined in the winner's circle by Irvine and Petaluma, beating out 40 other California cities that competed in a rigorous months-long application process. Grants were awarded to select cities that mobilized neighborhood by neighborhood to support a moonshot goal of carbon neutrality without offsets by 2030. Councilmember Paul Koretz of District 5 championed the Cool Block Leaders Program in the LA City Council. This is one step that everybody can participate in because I'm often asked, what can I do to help? And this is a logical, easy answer. To learn more about volunteering to be a leader for the Cool Block LA program, sign up for an information session at ncsa.la slash cool underscore blocks underscore LA. The LA City Council has approved new temporary fines for containers that remain at the Marine Terminal at the Port of LA for more than nine days. This new harbor tariff is an attempt to speed the processing of incoming cargo and eliminate a backlog of arriving ships that are trying to deliver merchandise. Before the pandemic, local delivery containers would sit at the Marine Terminal for less than four days and containers to be moved by train would remain in port property for less than two days. This new harbor tariff will impose a $100 fine for any container on the docks after nine days. The Port of Long Beach is said to be considering a similar tariff. We don't do everything we can to clear this backlog. This year won't be the Grinch who stole Christmas. It will be gridlock, the gridlock that stole this Christmas. The LA City Tourism Department recently launched the LACC Career Academy at GSMA Mobile World Congress. The LACC Career Academy is a new initiative to increase equity in career representation by inspiring youth of historically underserved areas to consider diverse and dynamic career paths. High school students from the Ambassador School of Global Leadership joined Mayor Garcetti for a tour of the exhibition hall at the LA Convention Center. Children of immigrants, or the descendants of slaves, folks who are Native American, people who come from low-income neighborhoods, they're just as brilliant as everyone else. They need a shot and they need a perspective. Walking this floor with them, you can just see their dreams expanding. The GSMA, or Global System for Mobile Communications, represents the interests of mobile network operators worldwide, including Core and Amdocs.